It's a lot hey, of fun. Trusted, making a complete change in, in <laughs> topics. Now, Trusted Mentor is an organization, Trusted Mentors is an organization connecting trained volunteer mentors with adults, keeping those adults in housing and out of prison, from preventing them from going backwards. Joining me this morning from this unique organization are Jerry Warner. She's the founder of Trusted Mentor and Melissa Waselli, the board chair of Trusted Mentors. Um, Jerry, this is Women's History Month. What does it mean to have founded this organization all those decades ago um, and, and be able to help people from, from marginalized communities who might not otherwise uh, have the help they're getting? Well, it's always, uh something I've been very proud and humbled by the work of our volunteers and the people um, who are working to change their lives and succeed. Mm -hmm. To be able to continue this over time uh, has been some hard work, but uh, it's just been um, mostly satisfactory. satisfactory. Yeah. Um, uh, they work really hard when they come out of prison. It's not easy. Or when they be first housed after leaving homelessness. Yeah. And uh, but it's also the mentoring relationships that's uh, really of value. When um, I enjoy the mentors' discovery as much as the mentees, when they discover we all share the same hopes and dreams, sometimes we're just at different places in lives. So, uh, Melissa, you're the board chair. Uh, give me a sense of of what Trusted Mentors is accomplishing as we speak. Definitely. Um, so yes, we are honored to be um, a woman-led organization, um, but we also do um, have mentees that are male and female. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, really, what I'm most proud of is that for the three tracks that Trusted Mentors does, which is um, you know the homelessness, um, helping those people stay housed. Um, helping those people not re-enter prison, and then helping people age out of foster care. Um, our success rates are over 90% and almost 100% in some of the categories for all the mentees and mentor matches that we had in 2022. So we're super proud of that, and that has really been the trend over the past 10 years. So it's a very high success yeah, rate. I, I was going to say, that sounds really, and I don't have a frame of reference for you know, any way to compare those numbers, but 90% sounds astounding. Summer as high as 98. How does that compare? Yeah, and the homeless the prevention. Normal? Well, everyone we mentor uh, is housed when we start, mm -hmm. but um, it's usually closer for those in housing uh, at about 80 percent. The success rate on, on incarceration is usually about 50 percent recidivism rate, and, uh -huh. and we're right at 90 percent usually. That's 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 amazing. Um, so, as, and I'll, I pose this question to both of you as as we look to the future. What, what are the goals uh, of Trusted Mentors? Well, our goal is to continue to grow into the future. For that, we're looking for uh, people who are willing to mentor for us, mm -hmm. male and female. We, we especially, at this moment in time, though, need men who are willing to mentor. Okay. About 30% of our folks uh, are 50 and over. So um, um, either leaving prison after decades in prison or maybe they uh, um, are dealing with changes in their life that's left them homeless. Yeah. So um, we have a need for mentors of all ages. And these people obviously have to be vetted and, and trained to do so, this work. Correct. We yeah. provide training and ongoing support for the mentors. So if they're worried about, I don't know how to do this, uh -huh. we provide support along the way. We'll, we'll teach you how to do it. Yeah. Ladies, Melissa you so did it. Yeah. I did. Yes. Oh, okay. It was a very it's a very eye-opening and rewarding experience. So, like Jerry said, we we definitely are calling for mentors in the Indianapolis area. Oh, well, you you heard the call, folks. Kayla, 